Hi, Eric Sleard again with Anubis Productions. I know the podcasts are coming out fast and furious right now because I've been playing with this new equipment, but at the same time, this one's really important. So this podcast is to tell everyone about our feature project, This Is Why I Believe. This Is Why I Believe is a project that came out of me doing some videos that just interested me, and I created a page on Facebook. If you haven't checked it out, you should. It's called This Is Why I Believe. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and it came out of the pastor in a sermon had said something, you know, like, why do you believe in Jesus? And, you know, truth be told, it's an interesting question, but also it's an interesting question, why do people believe in God? And we're told nowadays that that's going down and down the percentage of people. And I thought, well, it'd be neat to put things out there that actually did look into why people believe in God. You know, why do individual people decide that they believe in God? And, 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 and what are those stories? And, and how do those stories impact others? And, and I thought, okay, cool. So I did a little you know, trial balloon and we've done quite a few. You can check them out, not a ton, but they're so interesting and so surprising. And, and the stories you get are, are so intriguing because it's, you know, everyone comes at this from a different angle. And the truth be told, they're not testimonials necessarily. Like when you say to someone, why do you believe in God? As opposed to what's your testimonial? They're really two different questions and people have to tend to, you sort of sit back and go, wait a minute. You know, because they don't think about that necessarily. They know, like, frequently, you know, how they came about it sometimes, but not, like, why. And and so it's kind of an interesting take. And some of them do come across as testimonials, but a lot of them don't. And, you know, we have people from all different walks and people who something miraculous happened, people who grew up in the church and then had to find their faith later, you know, fell away from God, came back people who grew up in the church and then had to realize like, you know, well, why do I believe? And then kind of dig in themselves. And and people who just literally like came to God because they like did the research and was like, you know, this is logical, this makes sense. You know, their history supports this. You know, th there's all these different ways people have come to God. And I was like, you know, it, it's just such an interesting thing, but then there's no, no thread tying it together. And I thought this could be a really cool feature documentary project. And I've reached out to someone who is, way above the pay grade of this documentary's budget. Um, but we'll see if they're interested, I'm hoping, praying. If God wants it, it'll happen. Um, but it'd be amazing to have him because he, he would be able, in, in such an amazing way, probably tie in. My curiosity is to have someone talk about the importance of it from you know, psychological standpoint, because just as humans, like, well, well, what does that give us? What do we benefit from it? Because clearly we do. Um, but then at the same time, you know, theologically too, um, they would be able to hit, I think, a lot of reasons, in, you know, why, why it came about or, or how that history works or, or why these stories are connected. Because the stories are all connected when you hear people talk to them and, and at the same time they're not. And, and it's so like fascinating. And so if we don't get the person I've reached out to, um, I'm going to reach out to other psychologists, theologians to be that, that piece. And basically, this, I think this documentary, it's, it has a lot of legs because there's a lot of people out there that are curious. You know, I've had people contact me just with what I've done so far and saying, you know, they're not really people that believe in God, but they watch all these videos because they're so like curious, like, well, why do other people? Because if you're someone that doesn't, that, that either never had faith or lost your faith, I think it is perplexing and it is something you want to know. You want people kind of to, to be like, well, why is it that you were brought to this place? Like, how do you, how did you get somewhere I'm not or can't go? Um, so I think it, it, it could interest people like secular, religious. I think it could be a really amazing piece with like, you know, a really broad tent. And to do this though, it, it does take a budget. Um, everything takes a budget. Our last film we did, um, I took a second mortgage out on our house for our feature of the creek and it's not recommended, um, but we did it and it's pretty amazing. And, and actually we're, we're trying to get that streaming right now. We've reached out to a, a distributor to see if we can get it on some platforms just kind of for fun. But this project I think really has a lot of opportunity to get out there um, for investors sake. Uh, it has a lot of opportunity to, to make its money back. And I think it's something that, that could be really important in multiple ways. And so what we need from you though is, is we're starting a donor box. It'll be linked here on the, on the video. And the donor box is basically a GoFundMe. $5 goes a long way. $10, $15. It sounds like it doesn't. It does. You know, the budget's $62,000 right now, which seems like a ton of money to me, even though I know, like, by Hollywood standards, this is an absolute no-budget project. So 
Yeah, but 62,000 is a lot of money. So we need people to to want to get involved. You know, those little those little amounts make a big difference, but also sharing it. You know, repeatedly sharing it. Um, you know, sharing. You know, liking it. You, putting out there, telling your friends about it, um, sharing the videos on the page and saying, hey, they're making a feature of these. You know, things like that go just so much further than anybody realizes, just that kind of support. And again, the 5, 10, 15 is great too. We actually have a plan that we're hoping works where we've slashed our interview prices down so like hopefully we can get churches involved. And so these, these stories make great community building tools inside of your church because people know Bill and they know Bill's been coming to church a long time but at the same time they don't know why Bill believes in God there's stories that come out that they never would have known about Bill so it, it really builds community because people are like oh and then it gives people hey I didn't know this hey hey we're from Detroit too blah 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 like there's all these different stories that come out that then people relate to and then on the other side we will work with you the churches to you know make sure you know like a good schedule and how and work with you to get figured out how to post these on social media so that you get the most bang for your buck and that way you're not only building community inside but you are also building community outside you're reaching the outside community with these posts and you know and also too I mean churches are really falling down on the job of telling their congregation how important social media is. Their congregations on social media, they're just not on the church's social media. They, they, they don't share, they don't like. That's important. Like, you know, if you want to grow your community, you want to get into the community, you have the, the simplest, most easiest way to do it right there by just encouraging people to be, you know, participating in that. So when you post these videos, you get your congregation to share them. Imagine the outreach you have there with those videos. So it, it helps the churches, but then all those videos then are candidates to be in the documentary, and most likely small excerpts would be from almost all the videos or most of the videos. And then we will also put them out on our This Is Why We Believe page. So that, well, This Is Why I Believe page. So that also gets you more out there, more in the community. Community. And, and, and again, it, it's a win-win for everybody. And again, we've cut the price in half to like do those videos. And I think it could just be a, a, such a blessing for me because then that money would pay for a shoot and then the church would also get the videos and then we'd also be reaching people. So I think there's like so many different wins in this if we could get it started. So if you think your church would like to do this or needs to reach people and or this is something they'd wanna do, please talk to them, share them the video, share them this, share them this is why I believe. You know, let's, you know, please like feel free, like <laughs> jump in and help. Um, so that would all be amazing. And the other thing to note is I don't need the whole budget to be doing this. So November 1st, we're gonna have our first shoot. It's gonna be at the Lebanon Valley Mall. We're gonna have this really cool setup there. We're gonna get some man on the street stuff, but we also wanna encourage people that are following us here to contact me, you know, let me know, hey, I'm gonna be there two to three, or you know, hey, my name's so-and-so, I'm gonna stop in. It's gonna be from five to eight on Friday, November 1st, and we're gonna have as many people as we can get in in that time. And again, like some man on the street stuff would be really cool. We're gonna, you know, hey, would you like to stop? Would you like to say something? But you know what, come in, get a slice of pizza at Mancino's Pizza. They're an awesome family owned business. Grab a slice of pizza, check out the ax throwing, check out the retro video game store at the mall. The mall has a lot going on these days that's really unique and not what it used to be. So stop in, check out all that stuff out because the mall's amazing and they're always down to work with us on creative things. And then stop by and tell us, you know, take five minutes and tell us why you believe in God. I mean, I think, I think it'll be a fun time. I think it's gonna be a great time. I'm hoping to raise more of the budget by then because again, as I raise it, I can use that money for the next shoot. So that 60 grand doesn't just go for shooting and crew costs and all that stuff. It also is gonna go for editing. It's also gonna go for, you know, final post-production. It's gonna go toward building the feature. It's gonna go toward, you know, all that other stuff like festivals and everything else. So we really need to like, just start the momentum on that so then we can start shooting the shoots we have. So again, this is what this podcast was for. It was basically to tell you about this is why I believe. It was to encourage you to hopefully be like, hey, this could be cool. It's to say 60 grand's a lot of money, but it's really not. And with the help of some people and, you know, again, small amounts here and there, there's opportunities to give bigger amounts. You know, if somebody would want to partner with us, I'm open to that as well. I just think this is a project that would be really cool to make. I think it's something that could reach a lot of people, and I hope you consider it. So have a good week.